Objective 9.4, describe how the survival of some organisms is dependent on other species, including parasitism and mutualism. So as already mentioned, organisms in a community share the same habitat and are dependent on each other. Now there's two specific types of interdependence in ecosystems which we're going to look at now. One is mutualism and the other is parasitism. So mutualism, this is where there is a relationship between two organisms in which both organisms benefit. And there's some great examples in nature. The clownfish and the anemone is a very famous one. They have a mutualistic relationship. The clownfish receive a safe place to live and even prey to eat. And in return, the clownfish provide food to the, to the anemone and they help rid it of harmful parasites and they chase away fish like butterfly fish that feed on anemones. So they both benefit. Here's another example. The ants and the acacia tree have a mutualistic relationship. The ants benefit by living in the acacia tree and the tree benefits when the ants consume the insects that normally eat the leaves of the trees. Now parasites are not as friendly. Parasites live in or on a host organism and they take what they need to survive without any benefit to the host and normally causing it harm. Here's a tapeworm, for example, that lives in the digestive system of its host and they get their nutrients by living in the intestine and stealing them from the host, causing it harm. Fleas are parasites for mammals such as dogs and cats and they feed off the blood of the host and the host gets nothing at all. 